What's up guys? Inside this box, that was awful, I'm gonna read it. <laughs> What's up guys? Inside this box, we've got presumably a pair of sneakers from a brand that uh, makes some pretty wild stuff. In fact, it's the artist collective or art collective known as Mischief. By the way, if you don't know, I'm Seth Fowler. This is my channel. If you guys want to hit that subscribe button down below, it'd be much appreciated. We just hit a million, which is crazy. Thank you all so much for the support. But inside this box is presumably a crazy pair of sneakers because if you've looked at some of the stuff that Mischief has dropped in the past, it's pretty mind-blowing. Not only just within sneakers, but they do some really cool stuff. So I'm really excited to see what's inside this box. And huge thank you to Mischief for sending this over and giving me a heads up that it was coming. I just, I, I don't know what it is. So without further ado, let's cut this box open and see what we've got. I'm actually really stoked to see what this is because I, I, I really have no idea what this could be. I've been kind of following their promo and trying to see what they've been sort of leaking or, or teasing, but I haven't seen anything. So, I'm, oh, hold up. Unreleased, yo. That's crazy. Okay, so guys, inside the box, we've got an unreleased pair of gobstompers. I actually was not able to grab the gobstompers. They sold out very, very quickly. But it looks like we got a pair that's unreleased. That's pretty crazy. I'm excited about this. So let's drop it out of the box. So it seems like the theme of this colorway, or the colorway itself, is going to be some sort of take on green, purple, light green, and black, which I think is pretty cool. You've got the Mischief footwear logo or shoe logo right there. Sneakers logo, I think is what it's called. And then on the front, you've got the... The Gob Stomper logo and then unreleased right there. Now, I'm really excited about this one because it's an unreleased pair of shoes, which is crazy. Presumably, it's like a friends and family pair. I guess that's another name for it. But the reason I'm kind of bummed is because with the Gob Stompers, you kind of got to destroy them to get the full potential out of them. So, I'm probably going to have to destroy this pair of shoes, but I'm sure it's going to look awesome. I love the way the original ones looked, and uh, I think there's a good chance that I'm going to have to, you know, Dremel these bad boys. So, um, actually, speaking of which, I should grab a Dremel. It's funny, I do have a Dremel, I just haven't opened it yet. So, we've got the perfect opportunity opportunity to use our Dremel for the first time. So the shoes come in this really nice sort of green box with your uh, gob stomper text right there, mischief. I'm assuming, well actually I'm not sure if this is still the Jimmy Fallon collab or if it was just that colorway, I don't know. But uh, the top of the box comes in green, then you've got the size tag right there. They sent me a size 9, which is my true size, so I'm excited about this. I don't know how these fit, I'll let you guys know once I actually try them on if you're planning to grab maybe this pair or the other pair that I uh, already released. So let's take a peek inside of the box of what we've got, here we go. Ooh, that paper is sick. Is that a poster? Let's see. Hold up, look at that. That's crazy. So this is what the shoe will look like when and if we Dremel it, which I probably shouldn't have showed you guys this yet because I didn't want to ruin the surprise. This is one of the wildest looking skate shoes I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of skate shoes, especially recently with that video that I did with Braille. I did a bunch of research looking into how to 3D print skate shoes, you know, different kinds of skate shoes. So I've seen a bunch recently, but this is definitely <laughs> one of the wilder ones. It does come with green laces if you decide you want to switch them out. I actually really, really like the way this sneaker looks. It comes in this primarily black suede upper, which obviously has some layers of like green and purple underneath, which is pretty cool. You've got this sort of glossy black line right there on the side. And then of course the midsole is kind of the main attraction of the shoe. While the entire shoe can be sort of worn down and you see a bunch of different colors, people seem to be really drawn to the midsole because the midsole comes in like greens and purples and light greens. And so you can dremel away the midsole and see the colors underneath like a gobstopper, which is what the original concept was. So very cool to see this. You've got the Mischief logo right there on the top of the tongue, which is pretty rad. You've got the Mischief sneakers foot. And then the insole of the shoe seems to also feature that same sort of pattern that we had on the bottom the box. Also, actually, the outsole of the shoe, forgot to mention that, the outsole looks pretty crazy as well. So overall, very wild looking pair of shoes. I really like the original colorway, I really like this colorway, but uh, I feel like at this point, the only thing we can really do is mess them up, man. <laughs> so let's do it. Alright, so we got the Dremel, we've got the shoes. Let's uh, try and make these look crazy. Hopefully it works out. I guess, uh... hey bud, bud, you can't be around for this. That was the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So first things first, safety glasses, mandatory, for obvious reasons, so let's do it. So I can tell you for a fact that I'm absolutely doing this the wrong way. Oh man, it's melting. I wonder is there a better way to do this? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm not great with the Dremel, obviously. I feel like I'm gonna set the shoe on fire. Oh my goodness. So this is way harder than I thought. I thought this was gonna be like a really easy process. It was not gonna take me very long, but it's genuinely taking me a while because like a lot of this plastic is just like melting rather than getting sanded off. And then the upper also is more durable than I thought. So kudos to Mischief for making such a durable shoe. <laughs> Yeah, oh actually, now that you're here, if you want to get like some shots of like... My cameraman's very bundled up. I'm glad you're here, because I was having trouble without you. I got some stuff in my eye earlier. 
wear safety glasses. But yeah, so I'm kind of just like midway through the process to show both my wife and also you guys. And uh, it's going all right. I think I'm using the wrong bit. I'm not 100% sure. I feel stupid. Ben has a tomato. What? Ben has a tomato. Ben, I literally just took one from him too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need to get through this part because this part needs a lot of like cleaning up. And I'm afraid that I'm getting the laces a little bit, but honestly, that's not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna keep going for a little bit. Hopefully I get through to the purple. That's what I'm trying to get to. The purple on the midsole and the purple on the upper a little bit. Not all the way through, but just parts of it. There's some purple. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Sorry. Did I hit you with it? Yeah. Good thing I have a big jacket on. Yeah, true. Yeah, I think this middle part doesn't <laughs> doesn't have any. Yeah, I'm just going all the way through the middle part. But every other part, I wish I could clean up all this extra stuff. I feel like if I get some like steel wool or sandpaper, I can really uh, really clean it up and make it look nice. It's not as pretty as I thought it was going to be because in my head this was a lot easier than it actually is. So um, there you go. <laughs> This is like way worse than I thought. <laughs> the concept is awesome. The concept is there. The execution was lacking. I think it was the problem. Here, you know what? It is a skate shoe. Let me try and skate in it really quick. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> now, realistically, Wait. this shoe is made for skating and you're supposed to be able to uh, wear it down from just skating. But I suck at skating, as you guys have seen from previous videos. That was embarrassing because I wasn't even doing anything. I was just riding it. So what I'm going to try and do is a good old one of these. <laughs> Interesting technique. If I was a skateboarder and I was to do some sort of trick, it'd be like that. So maybe if I just keep doing this for a while. Yeah, look at that ollie. That is a nice ollie that would happen if I was actually skating. Get a nice little bit of a kickflip. Check out my braille video, it's sick. Look at the top of the screen. First impressions, how do you feel? Yeah, How they're awesome. Good. Okay, so in conclusion, these shoes are awesome. Mischief knocked it out of the park. I really like this colorway. I think I did a terrible job customizing it, but you know what? I've got a whole nother shoe to customize, so hopefully this one works out better. <laughs> and next time, I won't get stuff in my eye because I'll wear eye protection. But yeah, if you guys want to check out this shoe, I, I don't know if you can because I think it is friends and family only exclusive, which for me is awesome, but for you guys, maybe not so much. Um, I think I'm getting stuff in my face. It's all over here. But yeah, huge thank you to Mischief for sending this shoe my way. I really appreciate it. This shoe is awesome. They really do some cool stuff like this. I love all their crazy... Hey, buddy. You like my, my sock smell? They're apothecary socks. They're actually fire. If you guys want to check out the brand new apothecary Christmas collection, it's linked in the top of the description below. It's awesome. I'm not wearing it right now. I'm wearing just regular white socks, but... It's fire, you should check it out. But Mischief honestly does some really cool stuff. I love their art installations that they've done. I really like their sneaker program that they have. It's, it's really, really cool. I'm just excited about what they've got coming out in the future. So uh, make sure to follow them. And also, I believe I'll leave a link to their sneakers app in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Seriously, a cool shoe. I wish I had done a better job. And I guess my plan is, is I'll customize this one, do it better, and then try and only walk on the right side of people. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. And I will see you all in the next one.